Hi there, I'm Rob Harley. I'm a television documentary maker. Been to some places of incredible need and suffering around the world. Seen aid organisations and charities struggle to help people with almost insurmountable needs. But I don't think I've seen anything quite so effective as some work that's being done in Fiji by some New Zealand health professionals. Working for free, these are people at the top of their game in heart surgery and in cardiology. What they're doing is little short of a miracle. For years now, Kiwi doctors, nurses and anaesthetists have been giving up precious vacation time to travel for free to Fiji to help by doing cardiac procedures right up to open heart surgery for people who couldn't afford this in their wildest dreams. Expat Fijian doctors head up the teams. Is it working? You bet it is. Hundreds of lives have been saved. My name is Jan V. Bhavnachan. Well, I'm 15 years old. Last year I had my surgery at Lotaka Hospital. When I heard that I've got the heart, uh, I'll get the open heart surgery, like feeling like crying. I was very scared. I didn't want to go to the operation theater. Yeah, for the doctors and nurses that they came last year and did the surgery to my daughter and like, in our words I can say, they are my gods. I want to be a nurse. Uh, the thing that the nurses and the doctors have done to me, yeah, I want to help other people. I want to like, I want to share my experience to others also. I'm feeling very normal now. I'm thanking the doctors who have done the operation. All those doctors and nurses, they did a very great job. So I really thank them and bless them in future. Like they have, they have done a very great job. Um, after the surgery, I got this pillow, and the doctors told me to put it here. It's like be safe. Uh, I'll never leave this one. <laughs> All the team members do bring several toys, we bring balloons just to lighten up the ward. There are certain children who have actually heart defects as well and uh, later on that's when they're older that's some of these children, young adults we're operating on. Agnes is a 13 year old girl who has rheumatic heart disease. Without the surgery she would never go on to have children. I'm not sure whether my daughter will be alive or no. I was looking at Agnes. I don't have any doubt anymore, like I used to do. I'm no longer in fear. I'm, I'm just glad as a mom, I'm, feel, I'm feeling so happy. These are the hands that are gifted from God. They are here. And I'm so glad. I'm very much thankful. Hi, my name is Terma, and I have five brothers and sisters. I come from a big family. I like to play with all my brothers and sisters. I get tired very easily. And the doctor said that I have a hole in my heart. Yeah, I was seven months pregnant that time and the doctors called me and told me that uh, one of them's got a heart problem. And they said, uh, there's a possibility you might not live long because of that problem. So I was confused and find it hard to come to think of it that one of them's got that kind of problem. I never dreamt that that would happen. I tried to make myself strong. I gave birth to Jerry and the first month was a very uh, tough one for me because he got admitted in the hospital first time. He just stopped breathing for three minutes and the nurses called me and told him that he's gone, there's nothing you could. I need to go to New Zealand so somebody can fix me. And fixing Jerry is something a Kiwi Heart team hopes to be able to do in the very near future. But let's get real for a moment. Doctors and nurses donate time, millions of dollars worth. But to fund all this, medicine, equipment, travel, costs a fair bit. The real question is, how much value do you place on smiles from people whose lives are saved by selflessness? So could you help? Of course you could. 20 bucks a month is all it takes. I lose that down the back of the sofa or on the floor of my car each month. Or in unfinished long black coffees. Get a few of your mates on board. It's the smartest charity you'll ever give to. Professionals. 
New Zealand surgeons, theatre nurses, cardiologists given up their time going and making an impact on an entire generation among one of our closest neighbours. Come on, get on board.